right, y'all. Diane here. I have been MIA for a little bit. Um, lots, lots, lots going on. And so here's a big part of the lots of going on. Um, gosh, okay, so I've had, I, I've had my new to me um, baby lock regalia on the kinetic frame for, oh gosh, for just under two weeks. No, right at two weeks, actually. I received it Thursday, two weeks ago. Um, but with that being said, uh, the, the timing was really, really bad because I actually had a bunch of people that were showing up starting that afternoon for a class um, that I was hosting at my house on, of all things, smoking and barbecue. It was phenomenal. And that took place on Saturday. So <laughs> the palette got delivered Thursday morning, late morning, early afternoon. And um, I had to take everything apart off the palette and bring it into the garage just to get it out of the outside weather here. In, and for those of you that know this area, I'm in Northern California, just south of San Francisco. Um, the weather here in the summertime can be a bit cool and drizzly damp. So yeah, I wanted it out of the elements. So got everything unpacked and brought inside, um, started working on putting the frame together. So I put the frame together by Thursday night. A um, couple other people that showed up for this weekend class helped me flip it right side up and then I wasn't able to work on it for mm, a couple of days. I did little bits and pieces, got the, the poles all put together, um, got those all ready, um, put the knobs on the pole ends on and the knobs and the, yeah, anyway, learning experience for sure. Um, and then Saturday was our class and Sunday was a board meeting. So it was Sunday afternoon when I finally, finally, finally was able to get the machine onto the table. So I got the machine on the table with the help of my husband. We set it all up, got it ready to go. And um, that was pretty exciting just to see it. It's huge. It's huge. Um, but this is my workspace for right now. So... Uh, this frame is 12 feet long, so it is, it, it's, it's really, really big. Um, and I knew it was going to be big, and I even taped it out on the floor, but it didn't look quite that big, even taped out on the floor. Um, but boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, let's see. Quick timeline. Um, Monday, I had to work. Monday evening, I actually finally got all the cables and cords plugged in because there's a there's a lot of cables and cords and whatnot got those all plugged in and I ran my very first test on starting everything up you know turning the machine on turning the front machine on turning the the tablet on with the pro stitcher kind of listening to all the little things I did not put a bobbin in it I did not put thread on it I ran it real briefly um, in just a, a free motion, no gears and no motors. And then I went and picked, um, and it's really kind of funny because I actually, oops, let me do this. I picked this actual motif that I have on my screen. It's just a, a simple triangle. It's not really a feather, but it's kind of a feather. It's a foof. Um, it's a really great little filler. And I ran that, again, no thread. So, oh, that was all about all the excitement that I could handle for the day. Um, Tuesday, I actually put together a, um, just a, a sample sandwich, just leftover fabric um, that was totally faded out that I'd been given and um, some leftover batting. Put that sandwich together, loaded it up on the machine, and I, lo I threaded it. Made, prayed that I got everything right um, and then kind of started going into Pro Stitcher and messing with it. So that was, I, I'd been introduced to Pro Stitcher. I have two, two other friends that actually have it on their handy quilter machines, but I'd never really gone in and, and messed with it myself. I've never 
gone in and touched the screens or did any anything beyond watching videos and watching someone else do it. And I stitched out um, some fun um, little motifs again, this same motif, kind of getting used to that whole start and stop and setting an area and just little repetitive things over and over and over again. And then I also did a very, very small section. I was probably only about two and a half, three feet wide of a re repeat pattern that I repeated so that I would have to advance my quilt and kind of get a feel for how you do the drag and drop. And there's a couple of different ways that I'm learning about doing that. Um, Adam So Fun does a drag and drop way that I absolutely love because the forgetting to put your needle up scares me. <laughs> I've already, I've, I've only done it once, but it, it just scared the bejesus out of me. Um, so anyway, uh, since then, and that was on Tuesday and into Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, I loaded my very first quilt. So that was a week ago. This past Wednesday, today is Friday. And I have since this, I have since completed quilting four quilts. This is my fifth one. Um, only one of those four is a true edge to edge where I just simply did an edge to edge pattern on it. The rest of them are more custom where I'm actually just doing uh, repeat motifs into different blocks but again it's that repeating and setting up the areas and moving the the design around and and kind of playing with all that but I'm absolutely loving it so this is where I've been this is what's been going on um, I still have my Cunique 19 I still have it on a cutie frame because I still have two quilts that I have to finish on that that I've started on that um, but yeah, stay tuned. We've got more, more fun stuff to come. I can't wait. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks for hanging out. And I'm going to see, because I'm in a new space, I'm going to try to see what exactly I can come up with as far as setting it up so that we can get you in closer. We can see the, mo we can see the screen. We can see what I'm doing. Um, trying to figure out the lighting on this so it's a little bit different. But stay tuned. We'll get this all dialed in.